The Battle of Britain Memorial Flight BBMF is a Royal Air Force flight which provides an aerial display group usually comprising an Avro Lancaster, a Supermarine Spitfire and a Hawker Hurricane. The aircraft are regularly seen at events commemorating the Second World War and upon British state occasions, notably Trooping the Colour, celebrating Queen Elizabeth II's 80th birthday in 2006, as well as the wedding of Prince William, Duke of Cambridge and Catherine Middleton in 2011 and at air displays throughout the United Kingdom and Europe. The flight is administratively part of No. 1 Group RAF, flying out of RAF Coningsby in Lincolnshire. Aircraft Although usually seen flying in a formation of three, the Lancaster flanked by a fighter on each wing, the BBMF comprises a total of 12 aircraft One Avro Lancaster Six Supermarine Spitfires Two Hawker Hurricanes One Douglas Dakota Two de Havilland Canada DHC-1 Chipmunks Topic: Spitfires. Individual aircraft have historic heritages. The oldest of the Spitfires, P7350, is a MK Ayer, which originally flew in the Battle of Britain in 1940 with 266 and 603 squadrons. In 2011, she was repainted in the 41 Squadron Code (EBG), which represents the aircraft flown by pilot officer Eric Locke on the 5th of September 1940, when he destroyed three aircraft in a single sortie. The MKVB Spitfire AB910 escorted convoys in the Battle of the Atlantic. She then flew escort patrols during bombing raids on the German battleships Scharnhorst and Neisenau. Then, as part of Number no. 133 Squadron, she fought in the Dieppe raid. Capping this long career, as part of No. 402 Squadron RCAF, she flew cover patrols over the Normandy beaches on D-Day and in the subsequent weeks, as did another of the flight Spitfires, with No. 443 Squadron RCAF. As of August 2018 AB-910 was adorned with the D-Day color scheme of Flight Lieutenant Tony Cooper's 64 Squadron MKVB SHF BM-327 Peter John 1 named after his newborn son. The MKL Fix Spitfire, MK356, was built in March 1944 with clipped wings optimized for low-level flight, and fitted with a Merlin 66 engine. Allocated to the Royal Canadian Air Force 144 wing, based in various locations around southern England, she took part in the rodeo fighter sweep over occupied France in the weeks leading up to D-Day. After the war she served as a gate guardian at Hawkingen Locking, and was recovered and refurbished in 1992 for the BBMF. As of 2008, she is displayed in a silver paint scheme used in late 1944 fighter-bomber missions over the Balkans from bases in southern Italy. There are also two PRXIX Spitfires, both built in 1945 with Griffin 66 engines. PM 631 was too late to see operational services in World War II and carried out civilian duties with the Temperature and Humidity Monitoring flight at RAF Woodvale until of July 1957, when she became part of the historic aircraft flight. She is the longest serving aircraft in the BBMF and is currently painted to represent a 541 Squadron Spitfire. PS 915 performed various reconnaissance duties at Wunsdorf in Germany. She returned to the UK in 1954, and was retired to gate guarding duties. In 1987 she was modified with a Griffin 58 engine and refurbished to flying condition by British Aerospace. She currently carries the markings of PS 888 of 81 Squadron based at Selatar, Singapore, during the Malayan emergency which conducted the last operational RAF Spitfire sortie on 1 April 1954, photographing communist guerrilla hideouts over an area of jungle in Johor. The ground crew painted the inscription, "'The Last' on PS 915's left engine cowling. One Mark 19 Spitfire, PS 853, was sold in 1994 to defray the costs of rebuilding Hurricane LF 363 after her crash landing on the runway at RAF Wittering due to engine failure in 1991. The BBMF pilot escaped with a broken ankle and minor bruises, whilst LF 363 was engulfed and devastated by the resulting fire. 
Spitfire Mark 16 TE311 was acquired in 2002 and initially allocated for spares, but officially added to the BBMF collection in 2007. TE311 was made airworthy in the later stages of the 2012 display season and will be joining the flight to carry out commemorative sorties in 2013. Topic: <laughs> Hurricanes. There are two hurricanes. LF363 is a MKIIC and the last hurricane to have entered service with the RAF. She appeared in the films Angels 1-5, Reach for the Sky, The Battle of Britain, and a TV series The War in the Air. PZ-865, is a MKIIC built six months after LF-363, she is the last hurricane ever to have been built. She once wore the inscription, "'The Last of the Many' on her port and starboard sides. The original fabric with this inscription is now located in the BBMF headquarters at RAF Coningsby. Lancaster The Lancaster Bomber, PA-474, acquired by the BBMF in 1973, is one of only two surviving airworthy examples of the type, the other is in Canada. She was built in mid-1945 and assigned to reconnaissance duties after appearing too late to take part in the bombing of Japan. After various duties, she was adopted by the Air Historical Branch for display work. She appeared in two films, Operation Crossbow and The Guns of Navarone. Having been flown for much of her service with the BBMF as the City of Lincoln, PA-474 previously wore the markings of the Phantom of the Ruhr, a Lancaster that flew 121 sorties a so-called Tun-Up Lancaster. Originally assigned to 100 Squadron in June 1943, the original Phantom was transferred to 101 Squadron in November that year and finished the war as part of 550 Squadron at Ludford Magna. The Lancaster currently carries the markings of Thumper for the 2014 display season, an aircraft which served with No. 617 Squadron after the dam's raid. Some of the specially modified Lancasters, which survived the dam's raid, remained in service with the squadron afterwards. However, these aircraft were not suitable for all operations and they were replaced with standard Lancasters, one example being BMK 1 DV 385. PA 474 displays the markings of bombs for operations over Germany, ice cream cones for operations over Italy, and poppies when she releases poppies during exhibition flights. During the 2008 RAF Waddington Air Day, PA-474 was flown in formation with the recently restored Avro Vulcan XH-558 in a historic display of two Avro heavy metal classics. Topic: <laughs> Dakota. The Dakota ZA-947, built at Long Beach, California in March 1942, was issued to the U.S. Army Air Forces and later transferred to the Royal Canadian Air Force where she served until 1971. The aircraft was purchased by the Royal Aircraft Establishment before being issued to the BBMF in March 1993. She is equipped with authentic period seats and is used in commemorative parachute drops. The Dakota did serve solely as a support aircraft for the flight and as a multi-engine tail-wheel trainer for the Lancaster, but recently she has also acted as a display aircraft in her own right. ZA-947 is becoming increasingly popular with the public and 2013 saw the aircraft making many appearances. <laughs> Chipmunks The two Chipmunks WG486 and WK518 are the last in RAF service but are not intended for display use. Rather, they serve to give pilots experience in flying aircraft with a tailwheel landing gear, a design that has now vanished from the modern RAF fleet. Chipmunk WG486 flew reconnaissance missions over East Germany as part of the RAF Gatow Station flight in cooperation with the British Commander in Chief's mission to the group of Soviet forces in Germany, commonly known as BRIXMIS. Topic: <laughs> Flypasts. 
The flight also regularly takes part in combined flypasts with other recognisable British aircraft, such as the Red Arrows. It appeared on occasion with Concorde before that aircraft's withdrawal from service in October 2003. For much of the 2014 display season the flight was joined by Canadian-built Lancaster BMKX FM-213. This aircraft is owned and operated by the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum and made the 3,000-mile trip to the UK, via Goose Bay and Keflavik arriving at RAF Coningsby on 9 August. FM 213 is dedicated to the memory of P. O. Andrew Manaski VC and is referred to as the Manaski Memorial Lancaster. It is painted in the colors of his aircraft KB 726 VRA, which flew with RCAF No. 419 Squadron, and is affectionately known as Vera. She displayed with PA-474 in the first Lancaster II aircraft formation for 50 years, with both Lancasters visiting a large number of air shows and events before Vera's departure back to Canada in mid-September. History of the flight Biggin Hill. In the years following World War II it became traditional for a Spitfire and Hurricane to lead the Victory Day flypast over London. From that event there grew the idea to form a historic collection of flyable aircraft, initially to commemorate the RAF's major battle honour, the Battle of Britain, and latterly with broadened scope, to commemorate the RAF's involvement in all the campaigns of World War II. Thus, in 1957, the historic aircraft flight was formed at RAF Biggin Hill with one Hurricane LF 363 and three MK 19 Spitfires PM 631, PS 853, and PS 915. In in what, even then, had become a predominantly jet-powered air force. There is evidence that at least one of the Spitfires sometimes flew with a single Hawker Hunter F-5 of 41 SQN the last operational squadron to operate from RAF Biggin Hill which co-resided with the Spitfires and Hurricane at that time. The two aircraft together were referred to in an official Biggin Hill at home day display program as the Battle of Britain Flight. Coltishall Originally the RAF Historic Aircraft Flight, with a small group of Spitfires and Hurricanes operating from RAF Coltishall from 1963, the group became the «Battle of Britain Memorial Flight» in 1973, with the acquisition of the Lancaster. Coningsby. BBMF moved to its present home at RAF Coningsby in 1976. Since then, it has acquired several more aircraft, including the first Chipmunk acquired in 1983. A Dakota was originally acquired in 1995 as a more reliable multi engine trainer than the de Havilland Devon, that was nicknamed the Devon State II, due to its tendency to return to the ground on an emergency State II, but has since taken a fuller role in BBMF's lineup. The Spitfires and Hurricanes in the flight have varied over the years, as new aircraft are acquired and older ones passed to museums or used for parts. <laughs> Past and current BBMF homes Over the years the BBMF have called many RAF bases, home. These include, Biggin Hill July 1957 to March 1958, North Weald March to May 1958, Martlesham Heath May 1958 to November 1961, Horsham Street Faith November 1961 to April 1963, Coltishall April 1963 to March 1976 and RAF Coningsby since March 1976. Service history of the aircraft Aircraft currently in the flight have served with the RAF, the United States Army Air Forces, and the Royal Canadian Air Force, as well as having been privately owned. Whilst in the RAF, they were flown by Czechoslovakian, Polish, South African, American, and Canadian pilots. Some were sold for scrapping and later saved, whilst at least one has been on operational service with the RAF for almost 50 years.
Topic: Visitor Center. The Battle of Britain Memorial Flight Visitor Center is located at RAF Coningsby in Coningsby, Lincolnshire. A partnership between the Royal Air Force and Lincolnshire County Council, the center allows visitors an up-close guided tour of the aircraft when not in use, as well as exhibits about the aircraft and other temporary exhibits. See also Royal Navy Historic Flight Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum Commemorative Air Force, in Midland, Texas Shuttleworth Collection at Old Warden near Biggleswade in Bedfordshire, England Fantasy of Flight, in Polk City, Florida Champlin Fighter Collection at the Seattle Museum of Flight The Lone Star Flight Museum in Galveston, Texas The Yankee Air Museum in Ypsilanti, Michigan The Historic Aircraft Restoration Museum in St. Louis, Missouri <laughs>